I ain't saying you can't do what you want to do. I just ain't going for it. What's up, y'all? This is 1028 Awakenings, and I'm back again with another motherfucking video. How y'all doing tonight? I hope everybody's looking good, feeling good, and motherfucking smelling good. All right, I love doing that. All right, so let's get into it for my Scorpios. Oh, okay, we're going to take it. We gon' take it, we gon' take it, we gon' take it. Okay, I think that's like Fred Sanford. I ain't watched that show ever. Um, so somebody is thinking about celebrating with you, okay? They they thinking about how they used to chill with you. I celebration was sideways. So this is somebody who used to kick it with you. I don't think y'all used to drink together, but you did something of celebration. This is the emperor. Um, this is somebody who seduced you. All right, <clears throat> let's see what all these cards are saying because this is getting nasty. Hold on. Okay, Scorpio, there is an emperor here. This man could be a father. You could be the stable one, but somebody feels like you are trying to seduce them with drugs or weed or sex or they, they addicted to some kind of seduction that you have here. And with Blueprint, this person want to take their heart out of the situation, but they feel like their heart was so deeply in this situation that um they sabotage the connection with you okay because of their heart or because of their emotions we also have celebration this is somebody you went to celebrations with you could have party with y'all could have worked there um but this this emperor wants something stable with you they want what they had before with you um whatever this seduction is but y'all relationship has transitioned into something else and it has a lot of chaos in it with song here the song is not fun anymore the song could be you know, dysfunctional or it could be heartbreaking songs when you used to be happy and balanced songs, okay? And y'all relationship transformed into something different. With resurrection, this person wants to resurrect something, but it's like maybe Scorpio, you keep bringing up the past, you know, and it's hard to let go of the past because maybe the past between you and this person has a lot of pain in it, okay? So somebody keeps singing sad songs, so sick of love songs, so sad and something. Now why can't I turn off the radio? So songs aren't the same anymore because of whatever happened between you and this person, Scorpio. And somebody is very stable. I think two people are because it's sideways. So I think that two people are stable. And these two people are very seductive. They have people who can, you know, do whatever they want. They're, they're very... They're slaves to them, like how people have like addictions with drugs and alcohol, Scorpio. You and this emperor or you and this empress, um, y'all have like this same power where people will be whatever you want. You know, they'll they'll just cater to you. But this this situation here, somebody has been under your spell, Scorpio, and this is somebody who is um a seducer but you've seduced this person and you've pulled on their heartstrings they they care about you it's caused a lot of imbalance in somebody's life okay let me see what's going on with this shit um this person thinks about the celebration the music and this person could be listening to music thinking about you they are the one this person feels like you are the one okay i heard the lucky girl i'm going to marry okay that's bill that's bell again okay i don't know who the fuck likes beauty and the beast but um they are the one you have already met your romantic partner so somebody is feeling like they've already met you and they fuck things up with you scorpio they really like you and they they feel like they messed it up because they love you you know what i'm saying and they can't treat you like you know you a hoe or they can't treat you like they don't you know want to know where you are and what you're doing and they're trying to control that you know because maybe you're not their girlfriend maybe you're not their boyfriend but it's really hard for this person to control that it says be aware of codependency so this person is pulling themselves back and i mean this person could already not even be very much in your life so you're like nah this can't be my reading because this person barely talked to me but even if this nigga talked to you once a week this is the same fucking reading because this person just feels like they don't even give regular people once a week you know they don't they don't give anything you know than what they give and they're just overcompensating they're just over going in their head about so many things that have happened to you okay and they are addicted to you okay if you look, type in like the beginning of your name in their search engine you're not gonna pop up because they're constantly seeing if you posted what you did and if you did something okay this person does feel like you are their one but you and this person is not on the up and up and they strongly are scared of your seductive qualities your seductive quality really concerns this person they feel 
like Scorpio because you're so charming or handsome. You know, you, you could charm and, and do this to anybody. But look, if you can't handle having a fine ass nigga and if you can't handle having a fine ass female, then you should not have them. You know, everybody can't have the best. OK, you know, everybody may want it, but everybody may not be able to have it. So, you know, you got to tell your person if, if you're going to ride with me, you got to accept that you have the best and know that, you know, the best one. Ooh, the best one. Okay, it says forgive and release. Okay, so that's going to be required on both sides. So Scorpio, whoever this is, if you really want them, you're going to have to forgive. It says you are strong when you carry love and forgiveness rather than anger. So somebody is just really upset at you. They're really mad that you even told them something. Okay, and whatever this is, it made someone just feel like, okay, do whatever you want to do. You know what I mean? Because if someone is really mad at you, and it's to the point that they can't love you or be consistent with you, you got to let that person go. What you going to be begging people to be consistent with you? You got to let the people go, okay? But now this person feels like you're the one, okay? After you done forgave them and released their ass, and now they worry because they're so codependent on your energy. They stalking you. They playing sad songs and music about you, which is just basically another form of trying to manifest you because they can't manifest you in a loving way so they're trying to manifest you in a grieving way but at least it's manifesting you okay and you over here with, with this restoration um thing over here you you are rebirthing yourself the moon is giving you a lot of energy and why the moon is giving you energy is because secrets are being revealed to you and you're bringing a lot of cat like i'm not saying there's chaos in your life scorpio but i feel like you could have went back to old habits and old people and old traits and you just want to get back away from that because it says be aware of codependency i feel like that's you you know going back to just old energy that doesn't even serve you, you need to be careful with that you says it also says deepening here okay so um a relationship will finally deepen in the next few months you've been waiting for so just know scorpio like if you've been waiting for someone to just pour into you and give you that tlc that you always wanted for them looks like a motherfucker showing up to do so okay so in the next couple of months somebody is coming in to show you a different side i think that you know you just being a gone or aloof or away just made this person feel like you know they need you in their life but let me see if you're gonna be available because i don't know i don't know let me see though okay scorpio nigga just tell me they gonna come back in a couple of months you like hold up what actually i'm telling you that's what this nigga said this nigga said hey i gotta go somewhere but i'm gonna be back in a couple of months this person gonna be a little bit different when you see them but they've been doing all this stuff just to come back to do this to you you know what i mean you just thought this person i don't know what you thought let me not let me not think for you what's this nigga coming back in the goddamn oh yeah mm -hmm. they're coming back to put the dick on you put the pussy on you try to control you on their own terms to surprise you with gifts love winding down you love bomb you have sex with you yeah damn and they coming back to take you on a plane so whoever this is they want to just come back bossed up financially okay saved up a lot of money wow down you dazzle you down buy you gifts this is the plan okay i don't know if you're gonna be available but this is the plan do some little sex shit on you learn some shit somebody studying porn just so they can do some kinky shit to you i don't know y'all i mean <laughs> i mean if you gotta prepare you gotta prepare let's see what the message is for spirit okay all right somebody is just doing some things because they just want to be there for you they want to really make you just look at them in a different way what messages does spirit have for scorpios it says, although you don't see it, this is a divine plan at work, okay? So you know that there's a divine plan at work. You're not worried about that. It says, heal the past to enjoy the present to embrace the future. Somebody is still going through that. You've already passed it. And this is, if a relationship doesn't last, it may be the universe telling you it wasn't supposed to be. So something is going to last, okay? But it's not going to last the way that you perceive it to be. It's going to take some kind of pause. And it's going to go through some kind of transformation. And while you're doing that, you're going to go through a transformation too but this person had to heal the past by speaking up so this person gonna have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with their baby daddy or their baby mama or somebody that is their mother or their father and it's gonna heal a lot of trauma that has happened between like not being there for kids or being there for kids or lying about kids or just you know just whatever deception and lie this is it's gonna be finally healed but it's been suppressed for a long time and nobody has really talked about it but now it's gonna be spoken about which is gonna release a lot of energy the only card that came up in the upright our souls are evolving and learning lessons sometimes we have difficult past trauma and karma to work through although your difficulties are they're oh, sorry acknowledge your difficulties and heal from them i love you scorpios and i'll see you on the next video
Studios is really private, but we'll sting if you get close. And they rule by planet Mars, they stay determined, then don't go. Don't make a Scorpio strike because they venom pack a punch. So you better come correct, cause like a shark, you can't get much. Scorpios get what they want, and what they want is what they get. They appreciate the ones they love, they ain't what the fix shit. They don't really like people switching up, and they can be kinda controlling, like, bitch. Shut the fuck up Scorpios are leaders and they always think ahead And they also open minded so you gotta give them credit If you date in the Scorpio and they like you They will make you happy They also like a meal so in the kitchen No you can't be like Scorpios are often trendy and they got the best drip And they do not disappoint man you just gotta tap in Tagging shit this video to a Scorpio you